start off with OG. OG says the football agents are, I guess you'd say our football agents really need it. Asking the panel. How do y'all feel about football agents? Do you think they really need it? Yes and no. Well, what's the no part? The no part, we've seen some of these players get the real big money. Danny Dimes. They get real big money. He got paid this offseason. Yeah, but does he have an agent? I don't I don't really think he got an agent. I just think he was like well, I we, want, we, we ain't gonna think on it because then people gonna start, you know, crucifying okay. you in the show. Let's just talk about Laramie Tunsil. We know he doesn't have an agent. Yeah, That's another one. Laramie Tunsil, he has got back to back three year deals. No agent needed at all. So it just depends. Um. Okay, what you feel is on that, Azar? I mean, it's not needed, but I mean, it's a less headache. I mean, obviously they take a percentage, um, but chances are, you know, that's their field of negotiating. You know, they know how to hit. So they're kind of like a lawyer in a sense. So I think it's smart to have one. But if you, not all players know know that game. If you know that game, you know, there are players that don't have. Um, but, you know, so I would say if you don't know it and you want to focus on the game and you trust someone, then, yes, I would definitely have an agent. I'm going to say this. If you're out of your prime, you need an agent. Okay? If you're in your prime, you don't need an agent. Mm. That's, that's how I feel on that. If you're out of your prime and you're trying to get back into the league, like Cam Newton needs an agent. You understand know what I'm saying? Right. He trying Odell Beckham Jr. needs an agent. Right. Those are guys who 